back to Carpentry College. <laughs> Today we are making a long and short shoulder mortise and tenon joint, like this one. This is a, a front door, and on the front door we have, where we've got glazing, we'll use a long and short shoulder joint, like so. So the material you're going to require for this long and short shoulder mortise and tenon is a piece of timber 70, uh, 700, 700 millimeters long by 45 millimeters wide and by 28 millimeters thick. And this is planed all round or the other word for it is PAR. The tools that we're going to use for this job will be a meter ruler, a 600 ruler, pencil, tri-square, uh, mortise gauge, mortise chisel, a Warrington pin hat, a bevel edge, a 25mm bevel edge chisel, a Japanese um, dovetail saw or fine saw, a Japanese pull saw that has a rip saw side as well as a finished side, a conventional tenon saw, a mallet, a rebate plane, a hand screwdriver slotted, and a smoothing plane. The things that you're going to require is a wedge hole block, like this, a bench hook, uh, a bench bearers, and a sash cramp. Okay, so today we will need to keep the material uh, 70, uh, 700 millimeters long uh, because we are going to produce a rebate. So this is the rebate in relation to this exercise, right? So these are the rebate here. And this is why we need to keep it one long length. And then afterwards, we then cut the actual joint and fit once we have marked out the piece. Okay, so I need to... Um, about uh, I need to mark out the position of where my my long and short shoulder mortise and tenon is going to be. So I need to this part of it, which is two nine five, needs to be central to this long piece of timber. So what I've decided to do, if we measure one nine five from one end and one nine five at the opposite end like so and then i'm going to work in between there here and this line and where my thumb is i'm going to come in so i'm going to measure in seven mil and then from this point from that seven mil in mark in holding the ruler at a hundred then i can mark in uh in this case will be 395 to allow for that 100 mil. Why do I do that? Because it's most accurate that you hold it on to the 100, which is here, instead of using the end of the root. It just it makes it more accurate when you hold it at 100, and then you'll have to make sure you add uh, 100 mil to the actual size that you want. So in this case, I know it's 295, so if I'm holding it at 100, that means I need to mark at 395. And then once I've done that, I'm going to then mark a face side, face edge mark on there. Same on there, face side, face edge, face side, face edge. And then I'm just gonna square these lines over. That's the next task, okay? This is what we're going to do. Oh, just for the 195. Edges. I've got the 195 there. I come again. 195 at this end. And then inside of there, I'm going to mark 7 mil. And then from there, 7 mil, I'm going to mark 395. That gives me this central. So this is going to be central to that. And that's how I'm going to work this because one end is going to go into here and that end is going to go into here like that. This gap is, yeah, and this gap is the waist in the middle here. 
this is the waist there. I'm going to square over the lines that I marked out. So this one, that one, that one, and so on. You Okay, much. so now I'm going to uh, position where the actual uh, haunch mortise and tenon is going to go, the through mortise and tenon, which are this one and that one. So they have position. So by placing my ruler on the end of my 295, I am going to do what we call a running total, just like my other videos. So we have 40 mil. 40 plus 45 is 85. 85 plus this gap in the middle, which I found out or worked out is 125. So that means that it needs to, so, one, so 85 plus 125 is 210. I'll mark that there. 210 plus 45 is two, uh, two, two, 55 sorry and 40 plus 40 plus 255 gives us 295 exactly never quick so we've got 40 85 210 255 and then 295 that's our running so, total now i'm just going to mark across the lines where my positions or my rows are going to be in this exercise of the long and short shoulder mortars and tenons. So all I'm doing at the moment, this squaring across those lines, nice and faintly, okay? Because we've got to do some setting out here, a little bit of setting out here, but this one is straightforward. Okay. okay, so now I'm going to mark our haunch, which is what this bit is. This, a haunch is what we need within this job because it requires it. From the drawing, it requires that we have a haunch. A haunch is a small detail that we use within carpentry and joinery. Now, on this uh, brief, it says it's two-fifths. Two-fifths of 45, right? So two-fifths of 45 is the depth of the haunch. So that means from the top of there to there is going to be 18, and whatever left is going to be three-fifths of 45. Okay, so now, just gonna mark 18, one, 18. And just square that line through there like that. I'm gonna put H, H represents the haunch, and then I'm gonna put M, represents the mortise. I am gonna put M here, because this is only a, a mortise also, but it doesn't have the haunch. This is the only one that has a haunch here, and then we have a little mortise, and this this is a, what we call a through mortise. So this joint here is called a mortise and a haunch, sorry, a haunch mortise and tenon joint, but in this case it has what we call a long and short shoulder. Now, 18, but you mentioned it so 18, which is the two fifths of 45, and then whatever left is three fifths of that of 45. And then we have the through mortise. I'll put the, the letter M, the letter M here is the mortise and the letter H for haunch. Okay, so now I'm going to mark around just the positions where the mortise is gonna be, which is here and here on the back, so let me just do that now. So I'll just square those over, one, two. So using like a little reference line, making sure the square is touching our face side, or face edge, shall I say. So there, now three mil from there is where our, my wedge holes are going to be, and the same there. We'll do it on the same for this one. So just squaring those lines there. Thank you. 
felt. If you notice, these are just reference lines. I don't have to put a line right away across. It's just a reference line so I can mark this at the back and then indicate where my wedges are going to be. Three mil, three mil on both instances. So I could put the symbol here M and this is M stands for mortise. Okay, so these ones are going to be as they are. So there. there we are. So now I'm going to mark out our long and short sh shoulder details, uh, tenons, on this end and this end. So both ends. Okay, starting with. Um, Starting on my right hand side, I'm going to do this one first. Okay, so here we go. So, I want you, or want us, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to leave myself a little surplus there, just so that, for cleaning up purposes, right? So just a surplus of two mil over, short of the, the end of the material. And then I'm going to measure in 45 mil, which is the width of the material, 45. So, and then I'm going to do this at the other end. So just leaving my little bit surplus for clean up purposes, a few mils, and then I'm going to mark in 45 mil like that. And just square a line through like that. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so now what I've just done, I've come in a few mils in, the two mil in, and then I've measured 45 five mil for each switch, square, square the line through. The same on this end, a few mils for cleaning up purposes at the end, and then measured 45, and then square that across. So our rebate in this instance uh, is a 10 by 10 deep. So this rebate here is 10 this way, and 10 going down this way. Yeah, so 10 from there to there, and then 10 from there to there. So I'm going to mark this on this line because this is going to be what our long and short shoulder is. So I shall do that now. Okay. Wait, one second. I've got 10 there. I'm going to measure 10 here. Right, so I've measured my 10 mil, dip, my 10 mil sh shoulder line or my 10 mil rebate line, yes, on here, as well as on, the, on this other end. So I'm gonna put a little reference here. So this one here, the, long, the one longest one is the long shoulder. And this one back here is gonna be, S is a, another word for the short shoulder. So these are the lines that I'm going to square down. So let me just show you. So if I turn that around, so this is going to be. So this use I'll just use that word uh, long. I just put long shoulder actually, and the back one. So that when I say the back one, meaning this one here, this is going to be the short shoulder. We could put SS. So we've got short shoulder, long shoulder, LS. So this is the long and this is the short. So I'm going to do the same this end. So we've got long shoulder. And this one's going to be my short shoulder, SS. Okay, so if we... So if I go here... Oh. So long shoulder... Short shoulder, SS, like that. So what I need to do now is just transfer, continue those lines around on the, on the opposite, on this smaller side of the material also. So this is what I'm gonna do next.
got the long shoulder LS, LS, and then we've got the short shoulder SS, SS, and then I'll carry those lines around here, back so like that, as you can see, there, and then it ends up like that. Okay. You want ne right, what I'm going to do next now is set up our mortise chisel, which is going to be a nine mil, with our mortise gauge. So, setting up the mortise gauge, just remember the two pins must be to the tip, to the edge of the chisel that you're using, like so. I don't know if you can see that there. Okay. Right, so now, before I start gauging from my face side, I just need to measure a uh, distance from the face of my material, uh, 10 mil down. Just put a little mark, because this is where I'm going to position my pin so it follows through on the line of the rebate. So remember, the rebate is this here. So the line of that rebate is where my mortise is going to sit from the same line as the rebate is where the mortise is going to sit. So that's what I'm doing now. So I'll just do that. So just do that again. So nine, 10 mil from the face. And now I'm going to set my, I'm going to set my gauge in. So it's going to be in line with that mark. So, right, I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to, right, in fact, let me just do a little bit of tweaking. So there, here we are. So this is going to go through there like that. Making sure the stock is on your face side and the same here. And at the top here, so I was just going to go and the ends. Yeah, just have what you're, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now everything is all marked out now. Every part of this job, which is the long and short shoulder mortise and tenon, 
is all ready to be processed now. So I've marked everything. The haunches, the through, the long and short shoulder requirements here and there. I marked it in red in this time, just to highlight it to you uh, more fully on, on the video. Yes? Uh, so that's it really. So